your work so you can get out of town for the Christmas recession. Those of us who are working to prepare the bu President's budget for your timely consideration also wish that you uh, success in finishing up <laughs> and getting out of town so we can uh, get back to that particular effort. Uh, as the President indicated, uh, it's imperative that we have an increase in the debt ceiling by Wednesday so that we won't default. And secondly, that we get a continuing resolution by Thursday so we won't shut down. The President said yesterday at lunch that if there were a shutdown, that he'd just have to go back to the ranch. Uh, we also need Graham Rudman Hollings in order to address, uh, really in a significant way, uh, the budget deficit problem. If I could just talk about that for a second. Um, we uh, made a presentation to the President last week updating our estimates of the budget deficit in 1986 and 1987. And according to our figures, the deficit for 1986 looks to be above the $200 billion mark. And the deficit figure for 87 looks to be almost as large. So we need to address the budget deficit in a coordinated uh, way that commits the President and the Congress to lowering that budget deficit over a period of time. We, as you know, we have a few problems with the particular legislation, and we're well aware of how hard the Congress <coughs> has worked, Mr. Foley and Mr. Domenici and others have worked very, very hard in trying to reach an agreement to Mr. Lott and others, and we're somewhat we're encouraged by that. We're con our three major concerns with Grand Redmond Hollings are first the size of the sequester, as you will, and, and its effect on defense. As you will all remember, the President proposed a budget for defense for 86 of $322 billion in budget authority later agreed in the Congressional Budget Resolution to a figure of 2302. The House has uh, 292.4 in its appropriations measure and in its continuing resolution. So if you average that, uh, you get a lower figure. And uh, we are looking at, you have a $10 billion hit on defense and a 2.5 to 1 BA to outlay ratio. We're looking at something like uh, uh, 283 number down from 322. So obviously uh, we are concerned. We need the defense flexibility uh, so that within that figure, whatever it is, there will be opportunities for the President and the Secretary of Defense to maximize our international security um, by transferring uh, resources within reason. The last the third concern we have are dates. I mentioned that to Bob Packwood the other night. Um, the same people that are preparing the budget for the president would also be asked to prepare uh, sequester orders at the end of January. And it's just about an impossibility. I sometimes wake up at night with a sweat thinking that I'm going to be carried away in handcuffs because we're can't do the job. We'd appreciate perhaps slipping those dates by one month uh, for the sequester, making it a six-month sequester instead of a seven-month sequester. And I think we could meet the meet those dates. But it would be almost impossible for us to meet the sequester requirements at the same time we produce for the president the budget. Let me mention the continuing resolution. As the President said, it's very important that the total remain within the contours of the Congressional Budget Resolution. Um, second. Mr. Governor, Ambassador Zogazi, Mr. White, Mr. Sam, nice to see you. This is my third daughter, Jihan. Jihan. My wife, Zain. Nice to see you. My oldest daughter, Yasmin. Yes, Hello there. My son, two months old, Joseph the yes. second. Hello there. Why don't you and I get a picture taken here, and then why don't we have a family come in with our family? And she does what they all do at that age. They only see the camera. <laughs> Fascinating. Thank you. Wow. Family. <laughs> 
portrait. He's just a more that way. There you go. Okay. In the red, can you come out this way? I can't see your face. There you go. Thank you.
Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll get into that. Mr. President, you're back to your suite. Hello. Hi. It's good to see you. Hi. 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 Hi.
schedule ahead for the evening and then so forth. So will we. <laughs> Maybe well, we all just play cookies something. Get them all in and sneak out. <laughs> well, I understand there are three departures here too. Mr. President, we're gonna do that in, in the cross hall here. Oh we do it in the cross hall. Three departures. Right. Well again, thank you for everything.